Hey guys, it's Sandro here, and today's video is a review of CarPro's newest car snow foam in the form of Lift. So basically, CarPro Lift is a decontamination or strip car wash pre soak foam that would be used as part of a more periodic wash routine, perhaps prior to paint correction or applying a new layer of paint protection, as well as addressing really dirty vehicles that will require a more capable pre-wash solution. Now I first got my hands on a sample of Lyft late last year, and I've had the opportunity to test it out on quite a few cars over the last few months before making this review. So hopefully I can provide some great information here and answer some questions that you may have about it. So let's start by having a look at dilution ratios and its foaming and clinging ability. Now I'm going to share what I personally worked out best for me here, but I also need you guys to understand that depending on what pressure washer and foam lens you use, and whether you have hard or soft water is greatly going to influence what dilution ratio will work best for you personally. But in saying that, I did find that give or take a 1 to 10 dilution ratio in your pressure washer foam lens, which is CarPro's recommendation, should work quite well. Now with my setup, which includes using quite a good foam lens and pressure washer, with great PSI and water flow, as well as low mineral content or soft water, a 1 to 10 ratio was actually a little too concentrated, as the foam was too thick, which caused its bulk and weight to actually push it down off the paint a little too quickly and just not cling very well to the paint. So what I actually did was just open up the water flow valve on my foam lance about a quarter of the way to increase the amount of water mixing with CarPro Lift. So it basically became more like a 1 to 15 dilution hitting the paint. And that worked out to be a great consistency that clinged extremely well and allowed CarPro Lift to dwell for a good 5 to 10 minutes, which should be your goal for a good pre soak foam. You'll also see that when I opened up the water mixing valve too much, the snow foam was just too runny and it also didn't cling for very long. So it's really just a matter of finding that right water to product ratio to start with and then it should work consistently every time you use it with that same setup. Lastly on this point, my guess is that for many people with a more typical setup, a 1 to 10 dilution with the foam lance water valve fully closed will be almost perfect. But if you do have a more underpowered pressure washer, and perhaps not the best foam lance, as well as high mineral or hard water, then you may find that you will need to use a slightly higher concentration of lift, but I still wouldn't tend to go any stronger than a 1 to 5 ratio at most. Next I want to discuss the user experience and safety of this product. Now I tested lift in both indoor and outdoor environments, as well as on cooler and hotter days. And I also let it sit on the paint anywhere from about 5 to 10 minutes depending on the environment. So after applying it on about 10 cars so far, I've yet to see it leave behind any residue or streaks, or cause any sort of damage or chemical etchings on the paint or trims. So it does appear to be quite safe in that respect. Additionally, it also seems to rinse off the car relatively easy, especially for a stronger pre soak foam. So it's not going to be anywhere near as difficult to remove as some stronger APCs or degreasers, or even tar and iron removal chemicals. But it may need just an extra pass or two of your pressure washer compared to a more gentle pH balanced car wash soap. It's also got quite a subtle but nice fresh scent to it, which does add to the user experience. So all in all, there doesn't seem to be anything that's going to cause you any grief or hardship when using it, and it should actually be quite a nice experience. Now I don't believe the CarPro is recommending Lyft to be used in a hand wash bucket scenario, but I'm sure it's something I'm going to be asked, so I also tested it out in that area. Firstly, what I noticed was that Lyft does initially foam up quite well in your wash bucket at approximately a 1 to 200 dilution. But within a few minutes, you will start to see the foam just rise to the top and the rest of the water underneath just lose all its suds. So that was a pretty good indication that Lyft hasn't been developed to be used in that way. Now, one other thing I tested was adding about 50ml of CarPro Reset to that same wash bucket and that actually turned out to work really well. 
as the wash bucket water then held the foam and suds really well and both the lubrication and cleaning action was also greatly improved. So what I would say if you do want to use it in a wash bucket to make use of Lyft's greater cleaning ability is that I'd strongly recommend still adding some CarPro Reset to it to give you a better consistency, lubrication and improve the hand wash result. But otherwise CarPro Reset is still a very capable car wash detergent in its own right. So you may just want to stick to using Lyft as your pre-soaked foam and reset as your hand wash soap. The other option is to foam up your car again and then just use that foam to hand wash the vehicle. Now if you do want to use Lyft as a hand wash detergent, this would be a much better option and it actually seems to work relatively well. However, I would still tend to say the CarPro Reset by comparison still feels like it's got better lubrication. So it may be worth your while just adding a little reset to Lyft if you want to use it that way. To gather a bit more information, I also did a pH test to see where it sits on the chemical scale. Based on my results, I would say that it sits at about give or take 9 on the alkaline side of the pH scale. So it's not particularly high, but certainly not your more standard pH balanced car wash soap in that regard. But as I've mentioned quite a few times, the pH level of any product is only one piece of information as to how strong or gentle it really is. So you can have pH balanced products that are still quite aggressive and also have products with more extreme acid or alkaline readings that can be quite gentle depending on their concentration levels. But in any case, it's just a little more information to gather about CarPro Lift. Next, I want to discuss a very important point, which is how well Lyft works at removing dirt and grime off a vehicle, and if it can strip car waxes and sealants. Firstly, there's no doubt in my mind that Lyft is a great pre-soaked foam, in that it worked extremely well every time I used it, at softening surface grime to make the next pressure washer stage more effective. You'll also find that if you get its consistency right and allow it to cling better to the surface and dwell for longer, it will largely increase its effectiveness. So as is the case with almost every detailing product on the market, the product itself is just one part of the equation and the other important part is the method and technique used to apply it. In relation to stripping off existing paint protection products, I found that Lyft can certainly break down and remove your more typical car waxes. And although it's probably not going to remove a higher performing car sealant, it's certainly not going to do it any favours, and it'll also start to break it down. So Lyft certainly isn't going to be your weekly maintenance car wash foam or detergent, but rather the product you want to use every now and then to remove and then reapply your favourite wax or sealant. The other thing I tested on a couple of cars was how it compares to a favourite decontamination pre soak foam of mine, which is Envy Snow Plus. I divided the cars in half and tried to use very consistent applications and methods and really observed the results after a good dwell and pressure rinse down. In the end, there just wasn't any conclusive evidence that one did particularly better than the other. Car wash detergents are actually one of the hardest things to test and review in relation to how good they are at removing dirt and grime. Because unless there's something obviously insufficient or bad with them, they're just one of those products that take a lot of time and use to rate them in that area. So if you constantly get a good result time after time, that's usually a great indicator of a good pre-soak foam. But if you're constantly seeing more general dirt and grime that just isn't being removed, then that's another good sign that the product may not be the best. In any case, I feel like there's quite a bit to like about CarPro's new snow foam lift. From its great user experience and easy rinse off, to its safety on car paint and trims, as well as its effectiveness at softening and lifting grime, and the fact that you can buy it in bulk to make it more cost effective. So what are the negatives? I don't currently have local prices for it here in Australia as of yet, but CarPro certainly isn't the cheapest brand, so cost could be one of them. The fact that it's probably not going to be the best wash bucket car soap is perhaps another. 
Beyond that, I don't know what else I could find to complain about it. But if there are some of you guys out there that have been using it, or at least tried it, I'd really love to hear your thoughts on it and how it's worked for you personally. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please share this video, like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for this content and I'll see you guys soon.